Hey guys, Jude here. Today's Friday, and I'm recording before I go to work, so that's good. Pull out the chair so I can sit down in the spot that I usually sit at and then talk about stuff that doesn't really matter to anyone except me. Except it doesn't even matter to me, because after I record this, I'll probably forget about whatever I'm talking about. The vlog is all uploaded. Not all uploaded, but the ones that I recorded or I edited are all uploaded. I think I said this yesterday, but I scheduled them all for three a day starting today. So two of those went out, and in an hour the last one will go out. Also, a video on my main channel went out, the one of the old vlogs, and that's the the final video that I have edited for the main channel. So I have to record Conquer this week, and I have to edit at least one of them, the first one, uh, hopefully, and then upload that. So that has to happen this week, or else. I will be disappointed in myself. Truly, nothing else, nothing will happen. I'll just be a bit mad. Anyway, I also plan on this week editing, hopefully, as many as, as, many, as many vlogs as I did last week. I think Tuesday is a good day for that because it is sort of the middle. On Sunday, I'm sort of reeling from work where I'm like, okay, no work. And then on Monday, I'm, I'm sort of doing whatever, setting stuff up or something. Uh, and on Tuesday, I have like the whole day where it's like in the middle and I can edit a bunch of vlog. And I spent the whole day editing. I think last Tuesday, I spent like 14 hours editing. It was 10 to like 12 something. Not the entire 14 hours. I did have video up on this monitor. And I had it because my computer that has this connected to that monitor is not plugged into any speakers. So I had it Bluetooth to this sound bar. Which, because it was behind me, it actually allowed me to edit a video and watch something at the same time. Had the video came through the same speakers as the speakers I was editing, it would be harder to edit. I actually sort of figured out a way to multitask, kind of. I had to pause the video a lot, but still, I was able to have video up and the, the edit, so it made it more tolerable. And also, I went to get food multiple times. So anyway, yeah, that happened. That was, that. I hope I do that on Tuesday. And also on Monday, I hope to record Conquers, so I hope that happens. On to what I, I talked about yesterday, alternatives to YouTube and stuff. I did find a site yesterday called Rumble, and it's, it's sort of like a modern day MCN, a multi-channel network. Which back in the day when YouTube's partner program was first rolling out, it was only available to certain people that were like big and got views and stuff. And it was like, it was different than how it was today, where today anyone can become a YouTube partner. But back then no one could, unless you were specifically chosen by YouTube. So people needed to, to become a part of these multi-channel networks where there would basically be this company that were, were like approved by YouTube to essentially give you partnership. And then they would get a cut of your money after YouTube's cut also. But they would get a cut of your money. They would have like their own channel. So they would upload your video to their channel as well as a sort of boost. Uh, not all of your videos, but like popular ones. And then you would get, you basically, you would be able to get money. And then YouTube made it so that anyone could join the partner program. Anyone. Uh, and that made it like multi-channel networks are kind of pointless and now you're locked to this stupid contract and you're stuck doing this thing and it's so annoying to get out of and eventually they just ghost people and steal their money so yeah multi-channel networks sort of died and then became like absorbed into youtube itself that's sort of how youtube operates now youtube itself is like its own big multi-channel network with you know the way they ghost you and ignore you and then steal all your money but anyway this site is kind of like a modern day multi-channel network except not really it's its own youtube like clone you can upload videos to it but what you can also do when you upload i'll show you the options there's these little uh, these options you can choose and you can earn money on their site i don't know how much and i don't know if i am going to but i'm uploading currently the luigi let's play and so there's these options you can choose there's personal use which is it doesn't monetize the video it's not searchable and it's a, it's like basically just like you know uploading videos unlisted or something rumble only which is not exclusive, which means they don't get the rights. And I guess I should talk about these first. Uh, these are video managements. And basically what this does is it gives Rumble exclusive rights to your video. They own your video for 50 years, according to the agreement or whatever. But basically they own the video and they can promote it and share it. Which if you click video management on the far left, it just says exclusive. It lets them copyright claim the video on YouTube. Claiming a video puts ads on it for companies. So if you use a song in your video and they claim it, and don't strike the video, it means the video will stay up, but there will be ads on it to earn revenue off that song or whatever. But what they can do is claim the entire video, because technically Rumble owns the video now for 50 years. I'm gonna say that again, because it's important that uh, basically they own your video, so they can claim it on YouTube, so you can earn money from YouTube and other websites that maybe have the video on it for some reason, but you can earn money from your YouTube video on YouTube and on Rumble's site too, I guess if you, whatever. And then there's another one that says video management excluding YouTube, which is they will claim your video if it appears on any other website and they will own your video, but they won't claim the YouTube video. There's a problem with that and that is the whole they own your video, which is important for them to be able to claim it on YouTube, but it's also like they own your video for 50 years. 
which means you can't you can't back out once you tell them that you own a video or that they once you let them own your video you can't back out it's like you can't and that's a problem that people with MCNs ran into when they tried to back out of the MCN the contract they were in sort of made was like no the MCN owns your owns your stuff it owns you and you can't get it luckily a lot of people managed to get out of that and stuff especially when companies just didn't exist anymore with this it's like sure they promote my videos I get a little little bit of money now like probably I don't know a Luigi video gets 200 views or something and that's like five dollars maybe but still it's a uh, money which I wouldn't have been making at all anyway because YouTube now ever since they introduced the thousands of subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time has become you just can't make money unless you have that as great as making money would be if I get popular I would, I'd want to be making all my money that I would be making from YouTube. Because what they're doing is taking the, the, it's the same problem as an MCN where the MCN is taking the split of the money in exchange for like promotion, but you don't need the promotion anymore because you're big. And so with this is per video, it's on a per video basis. So I would not, that wouldn't, it wouldn't be like an MCN where every video I upload would be taken, they'll take the money. It would just be whatever ones I I choose. The problem is old videos. They would still own the old videos and I would still get a cut of the money. It's just hard thinking about it. I just, it's just, everything is saying like, sure, do it. It's not, it's like, it can't hurt you because like, yeah, they'll own the video, but you'll be making money. And in the future, it's like, you'll still be making money off it. Not as much as you could, but you would still be making money. But it's also like, I want to own my videos. Well, anyway, I'm still uploading to the website because it can't hurt to diversify, I guess. And you can select Rumble only, which will make money off the video on Rumble for the one person that'll watch it. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to watch this. But there's another site that's trying to copy YouTube called Odyssey, and that's the the blockchain one I mentioned. I've had my channel on that for a few years now, and it's got like no views. And it's just been, that just, that automatically uploads like if a video goes on YouTube, it'll automatically go to that. So I don't even have to do anything. And that's stupid because you don't make money on that. You make like 0, 0 whatever of a coin. That is, it's just stupid. I know I'm not going to make any money if I upload it to Rumble. I know Rumble itself is not going to make me any money. But the, the putting ads on my videos on YouTube in exchange to let them own the video for 50 years. And I'll say that again, for 50 years, but also it's per video basis. It's not the whole channel. It's just the videos that I tell them to that they can own. But also, I think when YouTube, when they go to see if you're approved to join the partner program, they check how many videos of yours have like copyright claims on them. I think that goes into them deciding whether or not you can be partnered. So if I had done, if I do this for like every video, they might deny me. I don't know. And I don't even know if this is against YouTube's terms of service to like do this. Because I was thinking I, when I was reading about this, I was like, well, couldn't I just like make an LLC? and then copyright claim my own videos to get ads on them. And then I would be making all the money. It wouldn't be, you know, YouTube's whatever 60% cut and then 60% of that. It would be that whole cut. That's probably against YouTube's terms of service. That's why it's like this, where you give them the exclusive rights to the video and then it's they as an, uh, I don't know. Okay, I will actually see you guys tomorrow. <sighs>